Hello and welcome to the section of the Trig and Precalculus Tutor. Here we're going to continue working with Law of Signs and we're going to work a couple of word problems that are going to give you practice with applying you know, something that's sort of written down or some kind of a little bit more abstract and using the Law of Signs to pull it off. These kinds of problems actually you'll see a lot on exams, uh, standardized tests such as the SAT and the GRE also. So here is a drawing that you'll be frequently given in, in problems like this. And what you have is like a cable car or some kind of a ski lift or something. And you start from the ground and the ski lift goes along the wire up to the top of the mountain. Of course, you're going to ski down the other side. And this is what you have. The angle that the wire makes with the ground is 21 degrees. The distance from the start to the base of the mountain over here is 1.2 kilometers. And the angle between the slope of this mountain and the ground is 65 degrees. And the question is, how far does the cable car travel from start to finish? How far does the cable car travel? So you got to think about that for a second. What does it mean? It means how far does it travel along that wire, right? It's not asking how far it travels along the ground. It's asking how far does it travel, period. So it has to go all the way the length of this wire. So what we're really trying to find is how long this wire really is. And a lot of students will look at this and have no idea where to start because it just looks complicated. It's a mountain, it's slanted, there's angles everywhere. How do we find this? Well, the first step in any word problem, my advice, is to redraw the problem. Uh, draw a clean, nice triangle with all the information and then look at law of sines, law of cosines and see if you have enough information to solve it. And you will. I mean, there's no doubt about that. So we just need to practice that. So let's do that. We're going to get rid of the mountain and all this other stuff and draw it like a real triangle would look in, you know, in, a, in a trig or a geometry class. So here, we're going up like this. Uh, it slants down here, and then here it is. Because this is one side of the triangle, this is one side, and this is one side of the triangle. Okay. Now, let's start labeling some stuff. Let's call this side A. We're trying to find A. That's all we care about. If we can figure out any way to find A, we will. Now, the angle that's opposite A, we're going to call alpha, right? And also notice that what's given to us in the drawing, not this angle, but the angle from here to the ground is 65 degrees, like that. Now also, notice that I'm going to call it gamma is 21 degrees. What goes with gamma? That's C. So this is side C. And you could say, let me switch colors just to make it totally clear. You could say that B is 1.2 kilometers, because that's what's given in the problem, and that this is angle beta up here. So I'm trying to draw you know, the colors to help you. So I tried to use colors here. The gamma goes with the C, the purple goes with the purple, the red goes with the red. All right. So ultimately we want to figure out what this is. So let's just let's just go for the go for the glory right now and see if we can figure it out. So what we have is A over the sine of the angle opposite, which is sine of alpha, okay, is equal to, and I can set it to whatever I want, but since I know what side B is, let's just go ahead and set it to, to B, which is B over sine of, what's the angle opposite? Sine of beta. So let's see what I can actually do here. I don't know what A is. I don't know what alpha is, so I have to leave it like that. B I know is 1.2, and Beta, I really don't know what that is either. So although I'm able to use law of signs, I am not able to make much progress because I don't know what A is, that's what I'm trying to find. I don't know what alpha is and I don't know what beta is. So I kind of think I'm a little stuck. So just kind of go off to the side. You know that you need to supply that 